All right. So Helen, based on the latest budget 2020 mm -hmm. recently, uh, which is just announced by the government, mm -hmm. the government has extended the eligibility for overtime from mm -hmm. those earning less than 2000 to those earnings uh, less than 4000 mm -hmm. So what is your perspective um, of you, you know, towards this issue? I would say it's a suggestion, mm -hmm. it's not coming to the bill yet. It's a suggestion of the government to impose this to the employer to pay OT for those earning less than 4000 mm -hmm. However, this um, there, there are some consequences that, uh, especially for the SME, yeah. they, are, mm -hmm. they, are grow, they are growing, expanding mm -hmm. their business, right? Mm -hmm. And they may not have the mm -hmm. ability to pay the OT mm -hmm. for those like 4000 and below because it's a, we involve a huge amount for them to pay every month. Yeah, so I think this impact could be quite big yes. if let's say these announcements become mm -hmm. uh, valid. Mm -hmm. mm. Alright, so can employer not pay paying any OT for the employees if let's say the employees work for extra hours? Okay, mm. for those who under mm. cover under the employment act, right, the company has to pay them mm. the OT rate that's mm. based on the requirement. Mm -mm. Okay. They 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 cannot uh, say mm. um you, you come to work and for OT and you don't pay no so it's what about for management's levels mm -hmm. uh, positions? Do they actually entitle any any OT? Alright, oh. some company they yeah. did provide stated that they did provide um, OT. I would say oh, mm. overtime allowance. Yeah. Or, of overtime allowance mm. based on the um, company discretions, uh, but um, commonly in Malaysia mm. we didn't pay for those management or executive and yeah. because mm. for example manager mm. they know their role to play yeah. their responsibility they have to make sure the, the work is really done at the end of the mm. day for the budget 2020 is yet to come to the bill so at the moment i would advise those employer or employee to follow back the previous practice first okay cool so um another question do you think that the employer has to pay the employees let's say the employee work for overtime is that compulsory it depends on the companies, but uh, according to the labor law, uh, the employer are compulsory to pay the overtime to the staff uh, wages earning less than 2000 So OT needs to be only given if necessary or if required. So if it's not necessary and not required, mm -hmm. then we don't need to pay the employee the particular OT. But if let's say, um, we have a punch card system or you have an e-system mm -hmm. that actually is there in place, then you will actually know which employee is doing more OT, less OT, and they need to justify the OT. So the only way we can actually help the employers is that you need to ask the employees to justify the OT that they have done, whether it's valid or not valid, and HR can actually dismiss if it's not valid. Cool. Thank you so much, Stephanie. I think this answer is very useful for the employer out there. If you want to, you know, uh, if you want to try to avoid paying overtime, maybe the company should actually restructure the whole system or something like that.